So I thought while well, I'm getting ready for my show, maybe I should do a demo on how to prepare um, artist statements. And basically what I do, and this isn't the greatest, it was donated foam core, so I apologize. Um, sometimes you have to work with what you have. But basically, I print off the artist statement on, this is like kind of a grayish, like obviously it's not white, white like the foam core. Um, but then I spray adhesive it to foam core, and then I cut around the edges, and kind of do like a little bit of, it's going to be hard to show this. Um, Of course it doesn't want to focus for me. Um, but instead of going straight up and down, I kind of go in at an angle and that way when you're looking at it, you know, when it's on a wall, it's not quite as um, noticeable, the edge of the foam core, especially if it doesn't come out great. And one of the problems with using donated foam core is this right here. Um, I'm not really sure what's been going on, but throughout trying to do all of my labels, there's lots of them, um, I've had issues with the, the edges of some of the boards, and I actually did just get a brand new blade, um, literally brand new, and so I can't blame it on that. So it finally answers exactly whether it was a problem with me and my blades or if it's the foam core and I guess it's just crappy foam core. But I'm going to fix that in a second. I was just going to show you what I'm doing here if I can do that without. Alright, this is the best I can do. Sorry guys, I do not own a tripod. So I've already started this. Um, this edge here. Like I said, I'm going to try and stay out of the shadow, but it's really hard. The one light in here is directly above me. And now I'm just going to go all the way across so that way I can just pull this piece off all at once. But basically what you want to do, instead of trying to cut through the whole thing at one time, is you want to make multiple passes. Like I said, I already started that one, so that's not a very good example. Just kind of do the best I can with the lighting and the positioning of the camera. I'll show you this way. And basically what I'm doing um, also that might seem like you might not even be paying attention to it, but I'm keeping the ruler on top of my artist statement so that way I don't cut through it one and two because I have used spray adhesive here. Um, this is sticky and can rub off and I don't want to, um, I want to avoid getting that on my ruler as much as possible because there's nothing quite like having something crappy on your ruler and then realizing after you've measured or cut something that you've just gotten oil paint or adhesive or something that isn't easily removable and just ruin something. So like I said, multiple passes. not going as smoothly as it should be, but like I said, I'm pretty sure that's just quality of the foam core I have. So. This isn't quite as much of an angle as I would like, but it came out clean for the most part. So, I'm not complaining too much. Just gotta take care of the little hairs. The fuzzies or whatever you want to call them. Um, but basically that's how I do 
my artist statements, and on this one I'm going to have to figure out exactly where I want to, to trim this guy. Because I put two on one to save money. The one problem with doing two on one is that obviously once I cut this, I can only angle it one way. So I can either angle it down so it fits for this piece or angle it up for that piece. Um, so depending on how bad this looks, yeah, I'm going to recut this edge. So there's one. I should have put more space between the two, but it's a little late to worry about that. Now my show is tomorrow. <laughs> so then I just line this one up. Just cut at a downward angle. 